Okay, so today is the National Animal Rights Day and there's going to be a nice art formation. Awesome. Many people are in formation already. It's amazing the turnout that we have this year. So many people. It's great. These. All the pictures. So many pictures.
So many gods, so many creeds, so many paths that wind and wind, while just the art of being kind is all this sad world needs. We are the voice of the voiceless. Through us the mute shall speak, till the deaf world's ear be made to hear the cries of the wordless weak. From lab, from cage, from kennel, from slaughterhouses come the wail of our tortured kin who proclaim the sin of the mighty against the frail. For love is the true religion, and love is the law sublime, and all that is wrought where love is not will die with the touch of time. Oh shame on the mothers of mortals who have not stopped to teach 
of the sorrow that lies in an animal's eyes, the sorrow that has no speech. The same hand that made the sparrow fashion man the king, the god of a whole gave a living soul to furred and to feathered thing. And we are our brother's keeper, and we will fight his fight and speak the word for beast and bird till the world shall set things right. by the billions. The violence against animals is normalized. We live in a world where violence against animals takes place on a staggering scale, every day, everywhere, always. And we're here because we've woken up to this reality. that the suffering animals are enduring is so normalized that people we love, people we know, are participating in it right now. And we need to be their voice. We need to fight for them. So today we're here to grieve. This is a symbolic display of grief to make the grief visible. We must continue the fight. We've only just begun. This is an atrocity of a staggering scale and we need to fight for them. So today we grieve and tomorrow we fight.
by step and one by one we will not stop till we see it done we will not stop until we find a change you you have to see why you
Uh, anyone is welcome now to walk through the crowd and take photos. So I couldn't get the footage of uh, the entire event. 15 minutes before it was over, um, my phone actually died. So I got most of it and the, ma the majority of it is okay. Like all that happened afterwards was that um, they laid the bodies on the ground um, and put flowers on top like at, you would at a cemetery uh, on top of a headstone. So, um, and then they took the animals away and there was some more singing and 
Um, and then we ate vegan food afterwards because, you know, it, it was a lot of work putting it together. Um, and it took a lot of time and effort. So, yeah, we, we were hungry and, yeah, so... So I was just thinking about today and I realized that, you know, it really touched my heart, like really hard. Like, I, I have already been vegan for a while and I know all these things happen and I know it's horrible and, and I've cried so many times over all these videos that I've seen from all the slaughterhouses all these horrible things happening to animals but there was a cat's body in the formation one of the people in the formation was holding a cat's body and because I used to have a cat and before my dog, I used to always have cats. And my last cat had to be put down because of lymphoma. And I, I really didn't want him to suffer. It really hit me hard because I had him since I was seven. And to have him f for such a long period of time and at 20 having to put him down even to watch him just drift away it, it was really tough for me and seeing that cat today reminded me of him of Caesar reminded me why I'm vegan and I already know yeah I'm vegan and it's great like it's changed my health and I feel a lot happier and you know I make better decisions now but just seeing that cat today just it just brought back memories that I must have blocked out just to just to block the pain but it really reminded me of why I'm vegan on a brighter note uh, everything went well. We had good food afterwards. Vegan food, of course. Um, and I got to socialize a lot, which is really great um, with other vegans. And s some people walking by the formation actually asked questions, which is really good. And they weren't doing it as a joke or anything uh, or to like make fun of us. They were actually... Um, they, they actually wanted to know so that's really good and today was a good day even with all the sadness I hope you had a great day and I will see you next time Mwah! kisses everywhere and if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends, especially if they're vegan. I swear it's not a chore. Mwah!